Okay, so today I have a little pile of books that I got delivered that I'm very excited to open. I don't usually unbox things that I buy on my YouTube, but there's something in here I'm very excited to open and I think you'll see why soon. So I'm just gonna do this top one first. I'm gonna leave the fun one for last, obviously. Took everything out of the larger box or envelope that had my address on it. All right, so this is from an Instagram called The Rebel Base Outpost, who I really enjoy. I'll link their Instagram down below. But I got this awesome Neil Adams Superman. Take it out so you can see it a little better. They are in like nice new bags and boards, which I always really appreciate. Oh yeah, this is pretty. Ooh, look at those colors. Ugh, ooh, it's got gloss. I love pretty silver books. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, this is awesome. The back's got some tanning on it and stuff, but this just looks so pretty. Oh, I love it. And then we have this gorgeous Nick Cardi cover. Nick Cardi is one of my favorite artists of all time. I love, look at her face, the hair, ugh. And I should have said that one was uh, Superman 234 and this is Challengers of the Unknown 73. Again, beautiful colors, presents really well. Got a little bit of gloss going on. Back's actually pretty clean on this guy too. Yeah, well I love these, nothing crazy. This is exactly the kind of stuff that I am a sucker for. I love just relatively clean silver stuff, you know, bright colors. This one is packaged very interestingly, so it was taped all down and then the inside I can see something in there. It looks like it might be one of those like animation cell things. Oh, they have tabs. Nice. I love that. What is that? I'm gonna take a second to get the rest of the tape off this. Okay, I've never seen this before. That thing on top was this. It's like hard, clear plastic. Uh, it says, bigger, don't get any, heroes don't get any bigger, excuse me. And it's an IMAX 3D thing for Marvel Ant-Man. Ticket 484 or 500. I've never seen this before. I'll have to look that up. It's kind of cool. To get 484 at 500. That's very, very small. If I find any more info, I'll put it down here. But that's interesting. Uh, so this one is from an Instagram called Comic Book Champ. Again, I will link them down below. These are people I really like, so I would definitely recommend buying from them. This uh, this one says, you know, thanks for buying them. Cute little millionaire. That's really, really cute. I'm gonna keep this in one of the books that I got. Oh yeah, this is the main reason I got these. Uh, I really like Throg. <laughs> so this is a variant for Thor's number three. I just got a cute little little Throg right there. Yeah, that's all, just a cute little variant. And then I also got this guy and I do love this cover. This is Green Lantern number 195. This is during the Infinite Crisis stuff, but just such a great cover. It's a nice copy. Yeah. Right. Now, on to the cool package. The reason uh, I'm making a video here. So, this is from one of the live auctions on the Golden Age Gurus channel uh, on Instagram. Again, I will link it below. I got two things here. Uh, obviously, I think they're both cool. I'll show you this guy first. Uh, this is, I bought one thing from the Golden Age Guru and one thing from Comic Tom, I believe. Might have been his dad. But it is the variant for Thor 18, again, with adorable Throg. I love the way Nick Klein does Throg. I believe Matt Wilson does the colors, if 
hope I'm wrong, I'll correct myself here, but they are quite the team up. They make him very cute, but also very BA. Yeah, very happy to have this guy in my collection. Look at his little, look at his little frog feet. Ugh, I love him and I love Lockjaw. This is great. I love this. Fantastic. I might send this guy as we get graded, I don't know. And this is the book I've been super excited for. And the reason I decided to make a quick little video of unboxing this. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, it's at the Mylar, which is nice. Um, this is my first ever golden age book, which is really cool. Uh, when I saw it at the auction, I just fell in love with how bright it is. See all these bright colors and how beautiful this is. This is Sensation Comics 64. Oh yeah, look at those colors. Oh my gosh, this book is gorgeous. Oh, this guy came out in 1947, officially my oldest book. This is the first Golden Age book in my collection. Look at one right there. And since I got this book, I've been on a deep dive looking at like, excuse me. Ever since I purchased this book, kind of been going on a deep dive looking for older sensation comics books. I think that might be something I start collecting now. This is so cool. <sighs> there are so many Golden Age series I've wanted to get, and I've wanted a Golden Age book for a long time, but I didn't want to get like just something random. I'm gonna take this guy out. I have worked with Golden Age books before because I press and clean um, professionally, I guess. But I have pressed and cleaned some older action comics. I've done uh, issue four. I think that's probably the oldest one I've done, but I've done some older action comics, some older Supermans. One of my customers likes to collect a lot of that stuff. Oh my goodness, this book is gorgeous. Okay, so as far as flaws go, it doesn't lay quite properly. You can see at the top, you can see some of the back cover up here, some little nicks here. Then you can see there's some stress along the spine. Honestly, this book is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Look at how clean it is. Those colors are so vibrant. Oh, I'm obsessed. I might get it graded, just so I don't have to get a Golden Age box, but if I get a Golden Age sword box, that just means that I see more Golden Age books. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna show you the inside of this book. I'm gonna flip the camera around so we can kind of go inside of this Golden Age book because I don't know about you, but I don't get to delve inside of Golden Age books too often, so. Oh my These colors are so vibrant, like the red and the yellow and the blue, it just pops. There's one, Dee. Yeah, apparently the story, the little cloud people, is pretty good, apparently. When I was researching it online, the main stuff I found was just about the little cloud people story. And it looks like this is the little cloud people story. I guess these are the little people in the clouds. colors on the inside are gorgeous. Ugh. I am so happy to have this book. This is definitely one of the coolest books I own now. Goodness, look at this. Yeah, this book is what, over 70 years old? Like, this comic could go get the early bird special. <laughs> it's amazing, just think about these pieces of paper just paper and some ink and some metal for the staples and it's been around for almost a hundred years a century things that were meant to be thrown away not quite a century but it's getting up there hopefully it'll still be in my possession when it's a century old wow i can't believe how beautiful this book is on the inside I'm not sure. Maybe I'll get it graded. I like the idea of having a Golden Age short box just full of Sensation comics, though. 
That would be a very long-term goal, because Golden Age books are a little pricey. Which is one of the main reasons. I haven't gotten one before now. Actually, every single person I told that I finally got a Golden Age book, and I was excited, and I was being like, Oh my god, I finally got my first Golden Age book! And, uh, they were all like, wait, you don't have one yet? I only told three people, but each one of them individually said the same thing. They were like, oh, you don't have one already? Well, excuse me. <laughs> Three Musketeers. Oh, we have Wildcat in here? I didn't even know that. That's cool. Yeah, there he is. Love old abs. And then let's go back. All right, so this is my my new beauty that I'm obsessed with. Gosh. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in and letting me just show off my new thing that I'm really excited about. Playing with my new toy. Let me know about any Golden Age books you have, or any that you're looking for. I'm just so excited. Okay. Alright. Have a very golden night. <laughs> um, if you want to help me out too, you can like or comment on this video. It's actually really good for creators. It tells the algorithm, hey, people who watched this really liked it, and it kind of pushes it to a new audience. And let me know what else you would like to see. And I think I have a new obsession. <laughs> Alright. Have a good night, friends.